Okay, so we completed our first design run, which was for the two-year storm. So let's analyze how our system will perform under uh, the other design storms. Um, let's, I don't know, I guess we'll analyze the 25, maybe 100 year. Uh, first thing we have to do is let's, I'm going to place a microstation fence again so we can change our status to fixed. So let's select all our proposed structures. Let's go to drainage, structure, modify status, fence, and we'll choose the fixed button, resize and fixed. We'll choose fixed, click apply, close, let me get rid of the fence, let me zoom in a little bit, go to drainage, edit review, pick one of the structures, and it's set to fixed. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go up to drainage, network, design, uh, click the options button, click the area button, and you see our two-year storm is still there. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run the hundred-year storm. Let's select that, click apply, close, and we'll come up here and all our settings are still set, our time of concentration, design log, our grade lines, and our same network. So we'll just go ahead and click apply. And I suspect that we're going to get all kinds of warnings about surcharging and whatnot. And there's one already. Warning. Warning. Let's come down to where our grade lines are. There's our grade line computations. You see all kinds of surcharging, which is what we expected. Now let's go ahead and close that out. I'll close that. Uh, it's just a way to analyze it. Just set your structure status to fixed and then you can run your different storms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and reset everything to resize. So I'm going to go to drainage, structure, modify status, fence, resize, apply, close get rid of that fence and since we had our structure set to fixed earlier um, we didn't need to bother to re-annotate our network because we know nothing changed okay so now that we set it to resize let's go ahead and run our 100 year storm again go to drainage network design options, area, it's still on the 100, close, everything's still set, click apply, and there's your design log again, you can save that and review that, we'll go ahead and close it out, we'll close that, now let's go to drainage, view, annotate, annotate structures, preferences, They're still loaded, apply, close, and Okay, we still have our 15 inch pipes, 36 inch pipes, they didn't change. Uh, this inlet here changed. I believe it was 4x5, something like that, but yeah, it, it definitely changed size. Uh, these two inlets stayed the same. There's a 5x5, five 5x5. By five, five by five. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our profile. Let's go to Evaluation, Profile, Create Profile. Uh, under the General Leaf, uh, we'll call this Park and Ride. Um, I'll go left to right, choose my surface, come to the Source tab, and come down here to Network. That's already named. And we'll go, let's erase these, and we'll go from actually I think that's the run we want from manhole one yeah all the way down to our outlet channel channel one so you can use the target selectors or just type in the names of your structures I'll just type them in since we already know uh, come over here and select the network radio button 
and station we'll start a station at zero extend our axis maybe a little bit maybe 20 feet or yeah even a hundred foot yeah, whatever you like uh, let's come over here to our network tab let's enable our come down here to the grade and branch lines and lines and enable our hydraulic grade line and our energy grade line so those get drawn in the profile uh, your other profile settings you can set those as you please uh, details title let's give it a title park and ride and let's click apply and let's throw in our network or our profile over here click close and let's see there's our hydraulic grade line our green line our energy grade line is our red line uh, looks like our pipe is kind of close to the surface there well, let's go ahead and annotate our profile let's go to evaluation profile annotate drainage profile uh, preferences drainage profile load close click apply close and we got some basic labels there okay let's uh... let's see let's check our pipe cover we may need to adjust that so let's go to evaluation profile check pipe cover and over here choose your profile set I'm going to select generate report list all pipes uh, cover along that's the interval um, let's have it check uh, every five feet of pipe uh, let's have it print out our surface elevation and our elevation at the top of the pipe elevation at bottom of pipe we don't need for checking the pipe cover and let's click apply and there's your results in your standard text type file. You can it's probably a good idea to save that. Uh, you see your interval 5, 10, 15, top of pipe elevation, surface elevation, comments over here. Um, we know our pipe, pipes aren't very deep, so a lot of this is what we expect. Go ahead and save that. We'll go ahead and close it out in this case. And I'll click close there. So we need to adjust this. Um, first of all, let's go to Tools, Drainage, Options, and let's click on Pipe. And you see we set our minimum cover to one and a half feet. And so apparently some of our pipes aren't meeting that requirement. So let's go ahead and adjust it. Let's go to Drainage, Network, adjust and then what you want to do well let's come over here to plan view and select a structure and whatever structure you select inroads will automatically adjust the network from that point all the way upstream so let's select our extreme downstream structure which is channel one data point to accept network adjustment complete do you wish to adjust another network no we only have one and let's close that out and what we'll have to do next is you run the design again so you come up to drainage network design and all our same settings are still set go ahead and click apply there's your design log let's you can review some of that uh, you see now our in our grade line computations we got rid of our uh, all those warning messages we'll go ahead and close that out click close now let's come over here to our profile and we want to adjust our profile so let's go to evaluation profile update drainage profile um, 
course choose your profile set update our grade lines and we'll click apply and you saw the pipes all dropped and that's based on the minimum cover that we had specified earlier and now we need to adjust our channel because that doesn't automatically adjust so let's go to drainage edit review and let's select our channel data point to accept and I'm going to hit the edit up button which is our last pipe in our network and I'm going to note the invert out which is 17161 let me hit edit down and I'm going to select my invert out so I can edit my invert in I'll put that at 17161 that's the invert in of the channel which is the extreme upstream end of the channel then I'll enable that and I'll set my invert out at ah, 170 I guess I'll go ahead and click apply close and then what you have to do is come back to drainage network design and the same settings click apply go ahead and close that out close that out and update your profile again go to evaluation profile update drainage profile uh, same settings again there click apply and you see everything our channel set and our grade lines updated. Let me close that. Let's go to evaluation, profile, uh, annotate drainage profile, preferences should be still set. Close. Click apply. Close. And that's how to adjust your network and adjust your profile based on your minimum cover um, you can specify that in your structures options or your drainage options as we just saw earlier tools drainage options um, you can specify your minimum and maximum slopes for your pipes um, same thing with your channels and manholes, culvert, channel, pipe, all your design options. We'll click close. And we can come back over here and let's go ahead and annotate our network, drainage, view, annotate structures, preferences, should be loaded, apply, close. And that's how to design your network and inroads uh, I believe let's go to drainage edit review select everything's still set to resize uh, once you're done it's probably a good idea to set everything back to fixed and also I'll come up here to file save drainage data and you can save your file save settings if you like and there you go your network is designed